Hello and welcome to Factaganda number six. I'm going to have a short one today and just go over um, a couple of little things. Uh, first of all, we've started uh, since the beginning opening up the uh, the uh, individual files, the, the YouTube videos, uh, to commenting. So if you have any questions about that particular video, uh, feel free to... Uh, to make a comment and we'll get back to you and, and answer as possible. Um, also, if there are any general questions or ideas for future videos, please lay them on us. Um, you know, like I said in the beginning, I wanted to talk about uh, evolution uh, from the perspective of actually trying to edu educate. I, I mean, we could go to like Answers in Genesis and, and get all their snipey little remarks about uh, evolution, you know, uh, and, 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 you know, I, I know that some people thought that the Why Are There Still Chimps videos uh, was responding to that, but this was, um, this was an actual question by an actual person who really didn't know any better, um, didn't know, uh, didn't really know why that, that worked, and, and had simply, you know, like, been given that question. Uh, I suppose in my own life, uh, you know, I, I was a little curious about um, uh, some of the 9-11 uh, issues, and, and uh, for a little while I bordered on being a 9-11 truther until I discovered certain things, like, for example, the, the Pentagon uh, footage that shows the accidents there. That was after they had cleaned up the site. Um, and so... For example, the 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 wings and uh, and jets from the plane that struck the Pentagon had been removed from the area before they took the officially released picture of the Pentagon, which was a little confusing because you know if a plane had struck the building, then we would see three distinct holes: one for the fuselage, two for the wings. Um, these sorts of things, you know, need clarification. And, and unfortunately, this poor boy got his evolutionary um, education from religion, you know, and these people are absolutely invested for reasons I cannot fathom to shut down evolution wherever possible. Evolution is the backbone of a lot of our sciences, particularly medicine. And we've come a very, very long way um, in, uh, in medical science. I'm still not particularly happy with doctors, practitioners of it, but the actual, like, gather data, clinical science kind of thing, I'm all for it. So, um... And, and the vast bulk of those, those improvements have come from uh, studies in biology, of course, and zoology and whatnot, but that all relate somehow to evolution. Um, either they, they add to it or they draw from it. Um, this, this isn't just a cute little theory. This is the foundation of our society as, as, you, as you live in it. Um, uh, nutritional programs, um, uh, you know, med medical knowledge, uh, you know, cures for all sorts of things, you know. But when I was a child, medical science had come up with something like 27 cures total. Where are we at now? hundreds, I think. I'm not sure. Point is, is every single one of them is an actual cure. Uh, it's, it's not dependent upon us or, you know, big sky daddy or anything like that. This is an actual change of benefit to humanity. And it's based on evolution. So for those people who have genuine, honest questions, like my friend who wanted to know about chimps, um, I want to answer those sorts of questions. Uh, so those of you who have been watching, and I think that's 
pretty much just the one. <laughs> um, feel free to you know repost these or you know use them as a as a uh, comment wherever you feel they would be fit because um, that'll link back to us and the more views the better. Um, and but getting back to the original point that you know like I said I wanted to talk about evolution not by it seems like most of the sites that, that talk about evolution, that what they do is they go into places like Answers to Genesis and they come up with quippy little snipey responses to the quippy little snipey questions that they come up with. You know, why are there still chimps? You know, well, why are you still an idiot? Kind of thing. And I, I don't want to go into that. I want to. I want to actually answer questions, but I. I don't want to go. Seeking for information in some place that's going to kind of corrupt my line of thought. I'd rather have genuinely uh, genuine questions from people who actually want to know. So uh, that said, this video is an awesome place to post any questions that you have, any suggestions for future videos. Also, we have a Google Plus page, uh, Factaganda. Um, actually, it's a community, sorry. And uh, that's a great place to catch some other memes. Um, yeah, that's another thing that we're doing. Uh, in fact, again, uh, along with these videos, is we're uh, coming up with um, uh, short memes that, well, it's not, not all of them are short, but the attempt is to come up with short memes with actual science, good science, and broadcast that out there, or um, to uh, come up with memes that refute bad science or bad thinking um, or, or completely unproven stuff. Uh, and that's all on our Google Plus page. And uh, fine, just to get a little more exposure, we're starting up a Facebook page, Facebook slash Factaganda. And that's F A C T O G A N D A. Um, okay, so that's about it. Like I said, this one's going to be a little short. And, um, you know, we're still uh, sending our love out to Dr. Kiki, you know, for coming up with the term. And, um, and we're hoping that everyone out there does everything they can to help promote rational thought, skeptical thinking, science, and generally, you know, the religion of Bill and Ted, you know, be excellent to each other and party on. <laughs> Have a good one.